Hello everyone, it's Rachel here at Clarty Handscrafts and in today's video I am going to be covering some pieces of paper and card with fabric and then I am going to use them in my journal as pages. So first of all I am going to start with this neck curtain which I got from a charity shop for about £2 and this stuff has come in really handy so keep an eye out in the charity shops or whatever you call them in America, thrift shops I think, because a little, well, one curtain goes a long way and you can use it for all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to be using this piece to cover this journal page. So this is just craft cardstock. It's already been folded, um, but I've just pulled it out of my yellow journal. And I'm just going to have a look at where I want the placement of the pattern to be. And I want to keep that quite symmetrical. Even though you won't really be able to tell because that's going to be halved anyway and uh, both halves won't be on the same page. That's a rose, so just making sure that that's the right way up. So we can use that centre point to line up the centre of there. And then I'm happy to just have the top half of those emblems right so that looks about right to me now what I'm going to do is cut it down to size as closely as I can but I'll leave a small amount of overhang that I can trim off afterwards For this I'm going to be using um, just some matte Mod Podge to stick it down and I'm not too worried about it being completely stuck. I'm, I don't know if this is the right stuff basically to use so I'm going to try it but I'm not too worried about it because I'm also going to stitch around the edges so it will be stuck down extra if you like. So I am going to paint this stuff directly on to the page and I'm going to use loads of it. brush has lost a bit of flexibility I really need some more brushes because they're all drying out I don't take very good care of them as you can see I should make them last a bit longer than I do but that's just the way I am when it comes to art supplies anyway. So that's completely covered. And then I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get the same placement just now. Make sure I've got it the right way, that looks about right. So line up that centre piece first, that centre line, and then I can spread it out from there to get it stuck down. The Mod Podge will dry clear, at least I'm hoping it will. There we have that one, so I'm going to set that to one side and let it dry. Now the next one that I've got is a sheet of tea stained paper. We'll try, the, no I like that inside piece because it's got an interesting design. I don't know if you can see all of the different marks on there. So I'll turn it to the more boring side and then I've got this piece which will go perfectly in my yellow journal as well. I went to a charity shop and they had all kinds of vintage linens and they were so cheap I think I can't remember how much they were about 20 pence each or something like that so I snapped them up but I haven't really used a lot of them so I thought this would be a good way to get some used up 
So I'm just playing around with the placement and trying to get as many of the uh, yellowy coloured flowers involved as I can. And it might be a little bit wasteful, but I will get the other pieces used anyway. All of the scraps will be used for various other things. I've got some scrappy quilts on the go and um, I put them in the box as well just so that I've got pieces to use in, uh, what do you call them? Um, my brain's gone to sleep. Snippet rolls and things like that. They're good for making pockets and things as well. I've just got back from the cinema. I went to see Uncharted and I really enjoyed it. So last week I went to see Scream and I wasn't impressed. I watched the original ones when I was a teenager and this new one was just well, I mean, the old ones really weren't <laughs> weren't very good, but I think it was just because they were horror films and, you know, you felt grown up watching them. <laughs> but I went to see the other one, the new one, and it didn't do it for me. But Uncharted was very good with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. It was just uh, a bit of cheesy action. I do love a cheesy action film. Right, so again, I am using Mod Podge. Stick that down and I'm not as convinced that this is going to stick. So I might need to use some fabric, well it's not fabric brand, it's uh, some kind of fabric glue I've got. If this doesn't work I'll use that instead. But I like the matte Mod Podge because if there's any glue showing through then it's matte, <laughs> as it says in the title. So this one I don't need to be as precise. I'll just stick it down and then we've got all of these nice yellow areas. And that can go to one side as well. Now I've got another little experiment that I want to do. I've got some napkins here. I haven't checked these ones actually to see if they've got the white backing. But I'm going to use the white backing. If I can. So I thought we could classify this as paper as well, can't we? And I think I saw Gail Agostinelli using this, but I can't remember what she was doing with it. It was a video that I watched a while ago, but it's kind of stuck in my head that I wanted to try it. So we're kind of making a paper backing for the fabric just to give it a bit of um, structure. So it does have the white side. So I will use this piece for some decoupage and then the whites for covering the back of the fabric and we'll see what happens because I don't really know how it's going to work with soaking in and things like that. So if I can just prepare, I'll try three, I might not need that much but if I've got three ready then uh, we can, we've got the option. I can't remember where they're from exactly, it might be Sainsbury's, it might be Tesco. Um, but I just thought they were pretty and they will go with my yellow journal as well. And I forgot that I had them until I was thinking of doing this project. Right, so I've got some purple fabric. I'm starting to build up a collection of purpley coloured uh, things because I will be doing a purple journal in the future, in the fairly near future. So one thing that I would recommend doing is making sure that your fabric is pressed just so that it doesn't have any unsightly um, creases and things. 
I think this is going to be quite messy because both of these things are absorbent and also the size of the I don't have the A4 size of paper to measure against so if I pull a piece out somewhere it's not very big at all you only need one piece I don't know why I did so many um, we'll try and stick it all up that size right, so if we just use this as a backing card and then hopefully I'll be able to see beneath yes so we can see where the A4 size is and then I know where to glue and where to stop so we will add Mod Podge in that area if I do the corners first and then I can link them up Just seeing all these pretty flowers here. It's reminded me of a walk that I went on the other day. So I've been getting very into walking. I'm, I'm going about five or six times a week at the minute. But I went on this walk the other day, followed a path, and it just led directly into some marshes. <laughs> just stopped. So this path was really well worn and I don't know where it was supposed to be heading to. But it just went directly into this swampy marsh area so i had to turn back and go and walk down the roadside but i just have no idea what, why the path was so well used when it didn't go anywhere and the the marshland was all um it had reeds and stuff like that and like obviously been there for a long time so it's a bit creepy really it's just like the path to a swamp, not a swamp, a marsh, a bog, and it gave, there were some horses in the field that this uh, marsh was on, so maybe they made the uh, the pathway, but then that made me worry about them, <laughs> because I don't know if you've seen Never Ending Story, but that traumatised me as a kid, and the horse gets stuck in the swamp, awful. So I thought, um, the poor things, I hope they can get out if they go in there. I'm sure they can. I don't know a lot about horses to know whether they can, how capable they are at doing things like that. So I won't be going on that one again in a hurry. Wasted a bit of time getting lost. But at least now I know it's there. I know to avoid it. I've just been having a look around the local area so every time I go walking I just go out with my front door and start walking and see where I end up and there's all sorts of different routes around where I live that I didn't even realise were there so it's been really nice getting to know the place a bit more even though I've lived here all my life right, I'll fold that up and then I can do another layer and then Oh, with one of these I'm just going to place that over and cut it down to size. So the whole thing just fell on the floor there when I went to get my scissors. So let's just hope <laughs> we haven't ruined it. It's gone a bit wrinkly now but we'll see how this happens. I don't think I hate the idea of it being wrinkly. So I actually want this to soak through. The thing is, I'm going to have to remove it from that card, otherwise it's going to soak through and attach to the card. I don't want the card being there, really, at this point. So if I just do one more layer right over. I don't know what's going to happen with this. 
This might be a fail, but I'm having fun. I used to do a lot of mixed media, but I don't really do it very often anymore. But sometimes it's nice to just get messy. <laughs> I do enjoy getting messy. Right. So if I can try and take that card off now. I think we've got some torn bits, but we'll see if we can fix that afterwards in some sort of way. Right. I think I want another layer. Is this about the right size now? Well, that worked out well. And then one more layer to seal it all in of the Mod Podge. And that's going to need a bit more time, I think, than the other ones to dry off. to one side and let, let's have a look at the other ones. So we can see how that's coming along. It's starting to dry off now. So if we flip it over then we can cut down the fabric at the edges. And I'm going to cut it flush now with the card. got all of these lovely scraps as well that can be used for pockets etc and even these skinny bits I will use in the tops of tags and things as well, so I won't even throw those out. corners off a bit there right it's not perfectly even but as I say the, it's going to be folded like this so you won't even be able to see that they're not identical but it just works better for me to have it as symmetrical as I could get it okay and I need that to dry off before, I'm going to add a pocket to the front I'm going to use this wide lacy trim to create a pocket. It might be a bit lace overkill, but I quite like the busyness of all of the patterns. And I'm just going to cut it to about this size and then glue around the three edges. Now this time I am going to use fabric glue to stick those down. That is, if I can find it. That's where the center is. So I need to cut that about here to have it at the right size and then as I say I just don't want to glue that down while it's wet otherwise it will end up sticking to the Mod Podge and that would defeat the object of having the pocket and then I think as well just to make a small contrast of the area I'm going to give it some stitching around as well and then when it that means that I'm going to have stitching on this side but I'm not going to worry about that, I can cover it with something else. This one needs to be trimmed down. I'm 
Now what I want to do with this one is fold around an edge pocket. So just so that we've got some of that fabric. This might help if we fold it back again so that we can see where the center is. And then I'm just gonna fold that in so that we've got one side which is quite short. But has a pocket in there. So that side will look like that and then that side will be glued here and here and then you can just slip in a journal card or something like that. So I'll glue that now. Just using that glitter glue to get that stuck down. using quite a thick application because I want it to hold firmly. So that just adds some texture to the page and it helps me to get more yellow designs as well because some of the pages have been quite plain in this journal so I'm, I'm happy, happy to have something a bit more visual to look at. I'm trying to decide whether I want to stitch this and I think I might for good measure so I'm going to stitch around all four edges and that will give us a border and it will just reinforce the edges as well to make sure they don't come apart as I said Mod Podge might not be the best kind of glue to use but you can just experiment with whatever you've got at home. Right so it's the next morning now, um, I haven't done any stitching on any of them yet. This is pretty dry, so I'm going to cut it down to size. So I want that to be an A4 size as well. And I can just use this one to measure. And then I think I'll stitch around this one as well. There we go, right, so I'm going to stitch this one with white, this one with brown, and this one probably with brown. So I'm going to make that pocket, stitch that pocket on as well, and then this one I think I'll just leave plain for now until I know more about the journal and what I'm doing with it. So I have finished this one, and all I've done, I don't know if you'll be able to see really, but I've done some straight stitching around the edge and I did a long stitch length as well just so that it would be a bit more um, decorative rather than just functional and can you see how much firmer this is so it's it's definitely better than just adding a sheet of fabric into your journal as a page um, and that just solidifies it a little bit so that was with the napkins and it smells because I've used so much mud podge on it um, but I'm sure that smell will die down eventually and um, yeah so I'll keep that for my purple journal that I'm going to make at some point so then we've got the fabric on paper so this was cotton fabric pasted onto paper and then folded over and stitched and that's worked really nicely I love that one and I'm really happy with my colour scheme because that can go in with my yellow and brown journal if I can find where I got it from that one feels no that one doesn't have a brown one in oh no that's for the brown one okay see what I mean 
Let's try this one. I need to rearrange all the signatures anyway, but just to give you an idea. So that will go in there like that. And then we've got that cute little pocket area, which we can stick something in. I'll make it better for that. And she can peek out. And then we've got the lace page, which I really like this as well. It's worked out well. So I'm just gonna refold that. The Mod Podge has faded away to nothing, so I can't see any white blobs there. And I mean, you can slightly see the brush marks if you look really closely, but you can't really tell that there's glue under there, so it's stuck nicely. Um, I did see that it was coming away a little bit at the edges, um, but I've fixed that by stitching those down. And then I've stitched that front pocket on as well as gluing it, so that's got double the strength. And then I can just pop that little girl in there and then put it inside. Actually, that might go on the outer of the signature. Let's just see what it looks like further in. Yeah, I think I'll put it on the outside. Uh, just to show you as well that, that that stitching came through, but I can easily just put something over the top of the page or add an extra pocket over that to cover that stitching, which I'll do when it comes to it. can go in as well. So there we have it. Thank you again for watching. We're getting quite bulky now with this one, so I'm gonna have to be stuck. Actually, do I really care if it's bulky? Not so much. This is the, the thought process that I need to get out of is, I really, for some reason, it doesn't feel right if I allow the cover to spread, but, when I see other people's journals, I love it when it does that and I love it when it looks over the top and completely full and so I need to change my way of thinking about it. Okay, anywho, thank you very much and I shall see you again next time for another video. Goodbye.